friends, to the Coliseum. Grizzly Mantis here, and we are back in standard with a saucy little contender I'm calling Doc Manhattan. Why? The All-Seeing Arbiter. For those who are not aware, six mana gets you a 5-4 flyer. When it enters the battlefield or attacks, draw two cards, then discard a card. Whenever you discard a card, target creature and opponent controls gets minus X minus zero until your next turn, where X is the number of different mana values among cards in your graveyard. It's a fantastic little titan-esque creature that can just lock down threats on the opponent's side of the board, and even spicier is if through Reckless Stormseeker or, of course, Reflection of Kiki Jiki, we're able to give it haste to get that, ooh, that's sweet value, baby. We're going to be up one card, not to mention locking down creatures and opponent control till the, our next turn. Not to mention that is instant speed, of course. We don't have any too many other ways to in discard instant speed, but you know it's important to keep these things in mind. So anytime you discard a card, you get that ability. Seems pretty good. So what's the rest of the deck look like? Looks like, is it control, baby? This one was, uh, I saw this one on, I want to say, maybe it was Twitter. I forget where I saw this list. I just thought that looks amazing. I was going to play like white weenie, keep it simple, but you see something like this, something spicy, saucy little contender, you just got to jump right in. The rest of the deck is exactly how you expect it to look. We got Removal spells in the early game. We got counter spells to hold, maintain control of the board. Essence scatters the main deck one of choice since it is a very aggressive meta game. And then of course we got some instant speed tricks in the form of spectral adversary and overcharged amalgam being able to counter spells or activate or trigger their abilities on occasion. The Riveteer's requisitioner is very interesting. I almost look at it as either a threat that can come down quickly and actually put on pressure, a la Tenacious Underdog, or it's essentially a removal spell that creates a treasure token. Not the bad, not the worst thing in the world, in all honesty. I liked it in our, um, oh, what was it? The uh, Boros Rihanna minis list that I played. It was pretty good there, so we'll have to see how it does here. Not to mention, of course, make disappear. Counterspell make a treasure. Pretty good. All about accelerating out the Arbiter. I mean, we are basically playing Is It Tempo slash Aggression. We do have a sideboard. We'll go ahead and we're going to obviously start in best of one. If I feel like it is more of a best of three, then you know the routine. You know how it goes. Nothing else is really too surprising. But man, Doc Manhattan, got to see this bad boy in action. My friends, if this is your first time at the Coliseum, feel free to like, subscribe. Our numbers grow every day. Thanks to you beautiful and amazing people. You, you the real MVP here. I'm just the guy sitting in front of the computer. Also, assuming we do not get just absolutely pummeled into the ground mercilessly. We will be looking at those untapped uh, GG statistics afterwards for a bird's eye view of how things ended up and, you know, kind of gather some kind of feeling of whether or not this is a, a true contender or not. All right, my friends, you know the spiel. Here we are. Well, let's get to the games. Oh, boy. Uh, is the fading help going to be good enough? Opponent already mulliganed. All right, let's do it. A double fading hope to buy us time and hopefully scry into a land. Say if it's white weenie, this won't be the worst. Do need that island. Guess we'll see what happens, eh? Another hopeful initiate. Interesting. Yep. Scary. Let's pass. Might take two damage off of this, but kind of depends on what opponent does here. Bye bye. Put a stop on my upkeep so that I can hopefully fading hope one of these things away. Try to scry into a land here. We definitely need the land drop. Perfect. Never didn't have it. Got another fading hope on backup. We'll have to wait and see what happens. Oof, never mind. We got nothing. We just got nothing. That's what we got. Nothing. Interesting. Fast turn. The overcharge amalgam for the surprise. Hey yo! And if he just goes in with the guardian, he'll get a scry out of it, but. Trepid adversary. Interesting. Sure. Kicking it. Oh, no, I'm sorry. That's fine. I'm just sitting here thinking what I want to do. Unless we can fading hope the adversary and take four. Bounce Thalia. Yeah. Uh, now 
we need something better. We need the uh, something. Yep. Taking four either way, but he gets a scry two out of the deal. Could use something like a Fable to Mirror Breaker or something of that nature. Guess we'll have to see what happens. Strangle. We can kill the Thalia. Probably not the worst idea in the world. Got two guards in hand. Yep. Mm, not looking good for the home team! Found the pot on the island. Kept the island. I would have played the Storm Seeker this turn. Mm, we'll see. There he is. He's Burke. Take three this turn. Set up the Reckless Storm Seeker to be able to block the Intrepid Adversary next turn or the Surprise Amalgam. Things get too nutty. Down to ten. That ain't good. That ain't good at all, now is it? We're just making it too easy for our opponent. Sigarda. Ugh, this isn't doing much for us, though. That's the problem. We're still taking seven. We're probably dead. I'm not sure what we could top deck to win. What could it be? Spectral adversary would stall. Yep. Can't even do the, uh... Oh, there's no sweepers. Man! Guardian Nubinalia is definitely gonna be an issue for us. And we are... Well, we're not dead. He attacks with both what happens. Not gonna be flashing overcharge amalgam and block. Yeah, black hair we die, black hair we die. Okie dokie, artichokey. Well, that was uneventful. Hmm. All right, this seems reasonable. The overcharged amalgam, we got stuff to do, time to do it. I'll keep. Oh boy, that's scary. Hmm. Is it Mm hmm Go for it. Yep. You don't say. Let's see what he hits. I'm guessing Fable the Mirror Breaker. It's the best card in our hand, but you never know. There you go. And we drew a land. Beautiful. Not interested in anything here. <sighs> Pass. Sit back and relax for a bit, eh? So we can either phase this fool out or find something better to do with our time. Yep. Sorry, homie. Not today. Yep. Yeah, let's go with Fable. We gotta get rid of some of this crap here. Unfortunately, Strangle's not doing much. Here comes... Oh, let me guess. Yep. Like clockwork. Ugh. This ain't gonna be our day, is it? Probably not. Yeah, very good. Let's keep it moving. We literally have nothing going on, so... Pilfer. God, if Mono Black had to be any more annoying. Yeah, sure, dude. Pilfer away. dude. Yep, you got it. Very good. Okay. Beautiful. 
All right, well, at least we can block one of them. Let's make him devote his turn to it, because his concealing curtains can't actually do anything. But we can throw two of them in front of the revealing eye and be able to take one of them down. Ooh, brutal. Yeah. This does not feel like a best of one. Okay. Yeah, sure, dude. Bring all the pain. Anywho. Burning down the house. Burning down the house. Not in the main deck, but we should put in burning down the house. Oh, lordy. This is bad for the home team, man. No, no attacks here, sir. At least the requisitioner can trade with the trespasser, I guess. That's something. Still gonna get hurt here. Mm-hmm. I'm waiting for a sweeper that will never come. Yep. Hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. What could it be? Come at me, bro. All right, well, that was great. Man, stink burger. Let's go best of three. I'm not feeling best of one. <laughs> All right, on the play and best of three. Let's see how we do. Theoretically, this is a good hand. Theoretically. Let's see what we're playing against. Hmm. Oh, that's a good job. Mm hmm. Tenacious underdog, you say. Let's get in. I'd rather have the treasure or the damage. Boop. So, Orsov underdog. Ooh, I takes it back, so I do this. No blocks here, sir. I want the treasure. Again. Another tenacious underdog. Interesting. Alright, I'm gonna give it one. Attack to the four. Yeah, let's learn our lesson and not discard important cards. Oh, snap! It's Doc Manhattan himself. It's all for me. Yep. The Wandering Emperor, you say? Do I care about the Wandering Emperor? I suppose so. Might as well. Otherwise, you can trade with my 2 2. So, right now, this will get minus 3, minus 0. Pretty good for a tenacious underdog. Very good. No blocks here, sir. Beautiful. Dark Manhattan! Two. What do we got in the graveyard? Got zero, one, two. Oh, let's just the land. Make our treasure. Last turn. See what he's got. We got the fading hope if he's got any kind of sweeper. Good game. 
Luckily, our opponent wasn't doing much of anything. Looks like our standard Esper... I mean, all we saw were three, uh, you know, two different cards, so... Hmm... I don't think I dig Strangle in this matchup. Is it better off as Sweepers slash Counterspells? Well, it kind of depends on which Esper this is. And then what do we want? Negates or Disdainful Strokes? And then do we want Burning Down the House? Burning Down the House! I'm really digging Strangles and not too keen on Fading Hopes, although I understand their importance. Maybe two Burning Down the House and... That's two. It's between Disdainful Stroke and Negate. I'm just trying to think which one I'm going to care more about. I guess we could keep in Strangles. Does take care of Wandering Emperor, but doesn't do much against Tenacious Underdog, you know? Hmm. I already got Sweepers. We don't want too many Sweepers. Or just could keep in the Fading Hopes. It's not the worst idea ever. Just bring in the Essence Scatters, take out the strangles and just try to go that route yeah okay worst case scenario change it up i don't like bringing in more counter spells on the draw though that's kind of uh, sus you know yes yeah, this is why because now his stuff will just sneak in under it spectral adversary i do love that card and what do we got? Tenacious Underdog. Sure, sure, sure. Best turn. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to flash in the adversary end of turn, because why not? Nothing's holding priority, so... I know. Dude, why are you gonna bring in counter spells if you're not gonna use them? Eh. Hmm. No blocks. I'll get this treasure. The only thing I'm a little nervous about is okay, Soren. Hmm. Yep. That's annoying. Okay, let's discard some lands. I bring my own army. What I meant to say was, let's draw more lands. Hmm. I'm going to give him two life here, unfortunately. But, got to do what you got to do. Yep. I kill that Soren on sight. And it's all for me. Hmm. Looks like it's more, uh... No blocks here. Seems to be more... Hmm, interesting. Ooh. Pass turn. He's got something over there. Another Wandering Emperor, perhaps? The Wandering Emperor. Peace. We got Essence Scatter and Spectral Adversary up. Let's see how he feels about this. Yeah, he did. Oof. Brutal. Yep. Hmm. Brutal. 
Alright, so the Essence Scatter is coming back out. We're bringing in uh, Disdainful Strokes or Negates. Yeah. Main treasure. Hope that is second main threat. Yeah, Essence Scatter. Guess I thought it was more Esper than... Uh... Yeah, we're definitely taking those out. <laughs> Let's make some dudes. Oh, whoops. We're still in a second main. That was a punt. Yeah. Yeah, we're moving on. Oof. Essence Scatter. Guess I thought it was more Esper, but now we know. Let's get rid of Essence Scatters. Give me a Negate. And... I didn't see any Rafines. So we're going to go Disdainful Stroke and Strangles. Temporal Firestorm is an option here. So what we could do is... Ditch a couple spectral adversaries. Bring in two firestorms. And just run it like that. Mm. Actually. Let's ditch the reckless storm seekers since it's a little worse against certain things my opponent's doing. In fact, I might just ditch all of them and bring in the temporal firestorm. Yeah. See it again. So it's mostly tokens. All right. Mostly tokens with tenacious underdogs as well. Okay. Let's try it again, shall we? Shall we? See how we do this time. Hey, we won a game. I can't be upset. <laughs> I'll be on the play. Ew. All right. We'll try it. Not liking that, but we'll try it. Oof, that ain't good. So ideally, we hit a, obviously, a third land. If he doesn't do anything, we'll flash in a spectral adversary. If he does, we'll make disappear, unless it's something we just obviously don't care about. If he duresses us, or pilfers us, it might be worth countering. We need to get to this fable. Or he might just be like, I'm just going to chill. He's got so many insane plays right now, you guys, you don't even realize. Oh, no, oh, we're back. Beautiful. Okay, so far so good. Yep. He did. Oh, geez, he did too. Savage. So we'll probably have to discard the over one overcharge to Malcolm and could just not care about this tenacious underdog. I need the land. I could just zap it. Yeah, let's do one. Okay. Hmm. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, Keekers. So ideally, we flash in the overcharge to Malcolm, and then we've just got a Counterspell and a Stick forever. I cannot imagine it works out that way. Oh, this is tough. I want to counter it. But we'd have to sack something to counter it. Could just ignore it. Could sack itself, but then we got nothing else going on. I uh, can't let that resolve, though. Oh, thinking, thinking. So we go overcharge to amalgam. We either sack itself, then we just have her sitting on a kiki jiki. All right. Okay. 
Fast turn. We have an army. We have a Hulk. Got the temporal firestorm, so if things go crazy. Yeah, we have to take it this time. Not interested in walking into a uh, invoke or anything of that nature. As he says, he says he proceeds to walk into that. Yep. How about that, bite? Ugh, terrible. Yep. Oh, terrible. Just absolutely awful. We'll see what happens this turn. Probably just brings back the underdog. Ugh. Every freaking time. You think I'd learn? I do not. All right, Doc Manhattan, where you at, man? We kind of need you. Yep. We can wipe the board for whatever good that is, but... Okay. What is going on here? Okay. So what happens? The ability resolves, so auto pay. Let's see what he finds. This might be better for us because of the temporal firestorm. What was it? I am the Emperor of Kamigawa, hmm. and I will protect my people. Okay. I think we're still dead here, though. Okay. Guards, to me. I think we're still dead here, except even if I auto pay. Attack for four, he's at three. If I temporal firestorm and phase him out, that phases back in and we die, or he brings back this tenacious underdog, so. Does this matter? Might. Let's see what happens. Let's see what I draw. Yep. Need to draw something that doesn't suck. I said something that doesn't suck. <laughs> Come on. Uh, this doesn't even matter. Ugh. Garbage. Doc Manhattan, you let us down, bro. Garbage. Ew. Oh, down we go. All right. Well, there ain't much to say. That was a dumpster fire. Got clobbered. I have no idea how this deck did well. I guess MMR played a pretty big part. But you know what? It doesn't matter. I'm not going to rip it. It worked for him. Fantastic. Some decks just don't work for everybody. And this one might be one of them. Blah. Blah. Yeah, I got nothing to really say about this stink burger. Could have been my play. But that's the problem with lists like this. Like lists that kind of blow their wad on trying to control the board without generating card advantage. There's no card advantage in the list. Like, there's no Silver Scrutiny or something like that. I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and let's see. So, we need Silver Scrutiny. We need like four of those. Or, what is it? Um, Thirst for Discovery is an option as well. I get what they're going for. I do not like Strangle. Uh, let me think. We either Maybe we need to play Dr Jund. Maybe we need to be playing something else. Elder Dragon War is not a terrible option either. 
I mean, I feel like this is a big score deck. The only problem with that is there's a lot of Shieldreds running around, so... Alright, so I don't like Strangle. I honestly don't like Essence Scatter. I'm not a big fan of Overcharged Amalgam. But I see why it's here, of course. I love Spectral Adversary, but I just don't think he's at his best right now. So maybe it's something more like a big score type deck, but then we start getting into... Entirely different category. Maybe we could try something like that. We just gotta keep things flowing. And with the list as is, we're not keeping anything flowing. We're just kinda bleh, you know? I like the idea of all seeing Arbiter. Maybe a Fires of Victory type list is the better way to handle this. And Reckless Storm Seeker is awesome in conjunction with all seeing, all seeing Arbiter, but on his own, he just does nothing. So we need to be able to draw cards. We need to be able to get to Mr. Arbiter. Gotta keep things flowing. I don't hate a lot of this. What would we do with the other two slots here? Hmm. It's an option. Then we don't have a lot of removal. Oh, we got Fires of Victory. We got Fading Hope. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We need sweepers in the main. Mm, I think I do like Burn Down the House more than Temporal Firestorm. We're just trying to get and protect Doc Manhattan. The only problem is, it's like, how do we beat the control decks? Utilize the sideboard, I suppose? I do not like Essence Scatter. I guess I don't hate the rest of the counter spells. They're okay. You gotta be able to do something for this kind of stuff. I guess we could try that. It's not the worst thing in the world. It's not the best thing in the world. The other issue is, of course, we got two, we got treasure makers. I just don't know about Spectral Adversary and by extent, Overcharged Amalgam. I do like All Seeing Arbiter though. It does feel like he's worth a shot. I don't hate the Requisitioner. Maybe instead of Spectral Adversary. So we got Fable the Mirror Breaker. We got this. Tell you what. Let's go. What was I just thinking of? Do we want to do the big score? Hmm. No, I think we want to learn to type. Oh my goodness. How about some rending flames? Got to be able to control things that hit the board. You know, we got to be able to stop things. Got to be able to refuel. Got to keep things moving. So I think instead of Spectral Adversary and Overcharged Amalgam, we do more Rending Flame, and then I tell you what, I'm going to hate myself for this one, but what about a Kraken and a Celestis? You know, let's see how that looks. So what do we got? We got this for Acceleration. Arbiters are hope to win. We got this for Board Control. It feels like we're just playing like an is it control list, which isn't the worst thing in the world. I feel like we do need more counter spells though. So this is more board control. We could probably take down two of these. And what would we do? Uh, okay. Mm, see, now I'm starting to think of other things. Like, okay, well, do we want to bring in Memory Deluge? It's not the worst idea. Do we want to go big score? Do we want to go... Well, we'd have to increase this, because we could always also go uh, Leer. Hmm. As long as it's your turn. What? Alchemy? God, why do they default to Alchemy? This is not Alchemy. Ah, that's the better. That's the better way to do it. I do like Leer. Ooh, by Styles. Yeah! Should have done that by default. Um, tell you what, we could do... One down one rending flame, bring in two leer. Maybe down two rending flame. So now our removal is rending flame, fires of victory, we've got fading hope, and then we're just basically trying to win with other Okay, I'll tell you what, let's yeah, let's go ahead and we'll take it back to best of one. I mean we can't work do any worse than we already did, so quick tune up is done, let's hop back in. Ooh. Yucky, 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 yucky. What happens? We hope that Fading Hope, we got Make Disappear, then we hope to draw red mana and just draw lands. Maybe I should have, instead of a, a second Leer, we should have done the 25th or even 26th land. Alright, let's try it. 
could be garbage. Just got better. Hmm. Yes, auto pay. Let's put Lear back here. Graveyard trespasser. Not bad. No attacks here, sir. Yeah, I was preparing for Sheldred. Sure. Bring it, I thought. Well, there's Doc Manhattan. What do we want to discard here? I don't think I want to discard anything. I mean, we could discard uh, All Seeing Arbiter, but we, need it. we could hit discard Leer. It's not going to do much right now, which is probably not the worst idea. Okay, let's keep the Silver Scrutiny. Hallbreaker Horror. Hmm. Take this bad boy out. We got him. We got a treasure token out of the mix. I would have sent in both, but I really wanted to make sure that uh, it's in the turn. We can use this to draw two cards in a turn, or we can just hold up mana. Oof. Might have been better to send in the. Uh, this dude as well. Duress. Okay. I'm not going to counter a duress. I'm just going to silver scrutiny in a turn for two cards. And inspiration. Not the worst thing ever. Oh, he got me! Anything else, kind sir? Reckon or bank buster? Sure. Hmm. I won't let this be over. Interesting. You can deal with my servant. Let's draw a couple cards under turn. Cool. Deal. So we got three cards in the yard. Here comes the invoke. Got him. Anything else? Missed. Nice try, though. Honestly, nice try. Let's get the Arbiter out of here. Draw two cards, discard a card. His ability's not going to do anything just yet. Gonna be Fable. What's our? I think all this is already in here, right? Yeah. Make a treasure. Get in there. Four, five, six. All right. What do you got for me? Just gonna keep invoking my face. Apparently, yes. Got him. Should go with the Holebreaker Horror end of turn, then we'll hold up Silver Scrutiny for any nonsense and shenanigans. Might have been better to Flood. Eh, we could just Silver Scrutiny as well. Graveyard Trespasser. Let's go with four bajillion. Sure. Got me. So he's got... He doesn't have the removal. I'm supposed to stop here and say resolve. It's only got one open, so I'm not too worried about this. A 
That was our lands. Look at all those beautiful lands. We're gonna attack. Nah. We'll wait. Next turn we can resolve the Arbiter. Oof, Arbiter's pretty bad against Shieldred, isn't it? They really is. Yeah, sure, dude. Yeah, this one's over. And if the deck can't beat Mono Black, then there's no business playing it. I mean, we could tap deck something. It's not likely, though. Because now all seeing Arbiter against Shieldred is just the worst. So we're really looking to top deck. Uh, oof, ouch. Oh, wait, we just dead? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll say good game, but it ain't. So, yeah, nah, like most is it control list. This one's just kind of a dumpster fire. So, I wouldn't waste your time. If you feel like there's potential here, that's all you. But as for me, nah. So, oh well. RIP my mythic wild cards. I will see everybody later.